We're back guys, we're back making videos. It's been a while, I do apologize, but we are back. And we're also back with a channel sponsor. There you go, we're back. And we're also back with a channel sponsor, Apex, lovely. Um, I'll tell you what it means for you guys. If you haven't already got uh, an Apex account, then if you head over to their website, I'll put the, uh, the link down below, head over there, open an account, and then uh, we're using the code BH10, you'll be able to get 10% off your first order. So BH10, get 10% off everything you order off your first order um, and uh, so do your order in, in, on the website and then when it comes to the checkout there'll be a little discount code you put it in there um, and hopefully moving forward with the channel and moving forward with, with Apex hopefully we'll have some more deals um, to put your way as well it's come up perfect timing actually because uh, Apex are launching tomorrow Monday the 11th they're launching the new one star cylinder um the xs xs dual so i've actually got one here and it's really good quality um the difference between this one and the old uh one star that they did the xs um it didn't have the sacrificial cuts whereas this one has um there you go it's a nice looking cylinder actually got the sacrificial cuts there just for snapping i mean it's it's anti-pick sacrificial cuts dual finish anti-bump anti-drill plug extraction protection um five keys decent keys as well there you go british standard nice you love it and really reasonably 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 i can't say it priced good value uh so yeah Head on over to Apex. Like I say, this is coming out tomorrow. The new, um, the new one star cylinder. If you haven't got an account already with Apex, then get over there, sign up, and use that code BH10 for your 10% off. Right. Let's get on with the video. This is going to be a mixture of. Um, there's a mixture of some old videos that I did a while back. Although I haven't been on YouTube or done any videos on YouTube, I did I did record a few a few jobs, not not many, but a few. So it's, so it's going to be a bit of a there's some new jobs, some older jobs in this video. But um, yeah, moving forward, I'm going to try and do it regularly again every Sunday. However, I go on honeymoon on Wednesday, so I think I've got enough videos to do a video uh, for next Sunday. But there might not be one the week, the week after. We'll see. But um, yeah, enjoy. Um, we are, we've got a couple of jobs on today. Um, the first one I think is literally a couple of screws in a handle, so I won't bother filming that. Um, guy said he's got, a, he's got a, um, a composite door and it, he said it's like the door's expanded and now the, the, the handle literally just come off in his hand. Um, the whole thing, not, not just the lever, the whole thing come off. And he's tried to screw it back in and he said it's like the screws um, and now too short um, so I'll go there and just see if I can sort that out for him and then I'm going down to Worthing um, a, a friend that I used to train with down at Spartan um, rent a property down there and he's had to have it repossessed but uh, he said that um, the back door he can't open the back door so we're gonna go and have a look and see what that is about um, but yeah it's good to be back I've, um, as you know, I've, I've openly said I've struggled with my mental health uh, the last few, few, well, six months probably. Um, but I'm feeling, feeling better. I'm feeling, feeling really good. Um, I'm on some medication, and it seems to have, seems to have worked, or it's working, should I say? I I'm not 100 percent. Definitely not back to where, where I was. Um, and again, don't mind telling you, I've got very low libido. Um, the, the way I noticed this, and, and, and I, want, I want to touch on this because men don't talk about their mental health. So if you're feeling low, I was feeling, I, I was feeling really low, tired, didn't want to do anything, didn't want to go to work. Um, 
didn't want to do YouTube, didn't want to do any social media for my work. <clears throat> um, just could not be asked to do anything at all. Um, yeah, so, and also another thing, I'm normally a very, very positive person and I let loads of negativity in and it was just like, Sarah would say something and I'd go, oh, well, can't do that because of, uh, and I was just like that all the time and, you know, and it, it just got to me. So, went to see the doctor, uh, weren't sure if it was to do with um, the male version of the menopause because I'm at that age, I'm 48 this year. Um, so they tested my testosterone and said that that was absolutely fine. So yeah, depression. I'm on um, metazapine, um, 30 grams of metazapine a day. They started me on 15, um, didn't really do much for my mood. It knocked me out at night, made me really drowsy, but didn't do anything for my mood. They've upped it to 30 grams, uh, 30 milligrams, not 30 grams, Jesus. 30 milligrams um, and I've been on that for about a week and I can honestly say I can, I've noticed a difference myself. So um, that's not to say that the 15 didn't work at all. I did notice a difference, but I'm still, I still wasn't myself. Um, but my libido is still very low. Got no interest in that whatsoever at the moment. Sorry, Sarah. It's nothing to do with you, babe. Sarah's my new wife now, by the way. We got, we've, we've been married since, um, you know, in this break. I got married three weeks ago now. Um, lovely day, beautiful. Um, we had an open top bus <laughs> brought us back from Lewis and we had the wedding reception at our house under some marquees, but it pissed down. And um, so, yeah, we had some really, really funny photos on top of the bus. I'll put some on here, actually. There. Andy and Sarah, today you are joined together as partners for life. May your thoughts, hopes and dreams be fulfilled. And I hope you will look back on this day with love and happiness and as the start of a new phase in your lives together. So that completes our part in your day. Rachel and I would like to wish you every happiness for the future. So if I could ask everyone please to stay and to join with me in congratulating our lovely couple, the new Mr and Mrs Perry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, really, really fantastic day and um, yeah, loved it. What else? Oh, got a puppy dog, got a little um, Lazarapso, um, which is a bit like a Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu is a cross between a Lazarapso and a Pekingese. So we've got the Lazarapso, pure Lazarapso. Beautiful little thing. Uh, Woody, his name. And this was mine and Sarah's wedding present to each other. Um, so yeah, that's uh, he, he's uh, he, he's uh, 16 weeks now. Um, going through that chewing stage, wants to chew everything, wants to chew you, wants to chew the chair legs. But lovely, and he's got such a funny little nature already. Um, so yeah, there's that. 
what else has happened? Um, I've just been working really. I've still been doing some training. I've uh, been working and uh, just getting on, just trying to trying to get my life back on track. So yeah, we are getting there. Um, what else? What else has happened in my life? Hay fever's happened. What's all that about? To be fair, I had a little a little dose of, of hay fever last year for the first time ever. I've never suffered from it before. Um, took some took some hay fever um, allergy pills and whatever. Got rid of it last year. This year won't touch it. My eyes, my, my nose, you can probably hear it, my nose is all bunged up, um, got a cough, it's, uh, it just won't shift it this year, really bad. Um, so yeah, that's it, that's basically my life in a nutshell for the last six months. What a lovely job for your first one back on YouTube. Um, so this is a friend, that, um, like I said, that uh, rented a property out. Um, guy stopped paying his rent uh, for eight months, so they got it repossessed by. Um, I won't even show you it in the kitchen. It's just honestly, it's, it absolutely stinks. Uh, got it repossessed by um, uh, what are they called bailiffs, and um, yeah, he's just left it in absolute mess. He's, he's got to pay twelve hundred quid just to have it cleared. This is the garden. And it goes all the way to the back there. There's sofas out there, bikes, all sorts. It's just an absolute mess. Um, but yeah, this this door wasn't able to open the, the bottom hook there. Everything else is working. So the in the middle hook, top hook, cam up there is working. Uh, see that bottom hook that's coming out there? When I go to open it, uh, open the handle, it's not retracting. So it's a gearbox problem. But we're, for the minute, we're just gonna disconnect that bottom gearbox um, just so they can uh, I think they're going to renew the door anyway but just so they can open and close it but this place is awful oh dear oh beautiful right I've taken the bottom uh, hook off of this uh, wing cast mechanism. So we can put that back in there. Put it back together and then uh, they'll be able to start shut and open the door. Basically just wants it so they can come and clear the rubbish. Okay, so bottom hook is disconnected down there. Everything's working. Oh, uh, give it a go. mess, I feel so bad for Simon. Um, yeah, 1200 quid he's been quoted to, to actually clear the whole place, which if you could see it, I don't think it's too bad. I wouldn't do it for 1200 quid, not a chance. Um, yeah, it's really, really bad. Um, yeah, I feel so bad for him. He said that the guy, um, he missed a couple of payments a couple of years ago, um, but then caught up again and uh, but yeah, this time he's just, he just stopped paying eight months ago and uh, hasn't paid a penny since, so. Anyway, um, we are on my, well, I'm actually gonna go back home now to tidy my van up, because it is, it's an absolute mess, man. Um, I don't even know how it's happened. I do know how it's happened, actually. It, it, this, this is stemmed from one job that I did last week, which was a gearbox change. I was in a rush. I had to be somewhere else. And basically, it, 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 this is what happens when you're in a rush. Things just don't get put back. And all it does is slow you down in the long run. So I'm gonna try and learn from this mistake. And I'm gonna try and remember to put all my stuff back where it goes and not just chuck it in the side. And then things go flying and missing. And then it, it just spirals. A bit like that else. He probably, put, he probably just didn't, didn't put a can of beans away one day and look at it. Uh, I just wanted to share a job that I've just been on. And um, it was for uh, a state agent, letting agent, sorry, that I do work for. Um, I just pulled up to another job as well. And they said that the tenant and her plumber were, or their plumber, were locked out of a flat. So I said, look, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I've just pulled up at another job. Thankfully, that was just an adjustment on a deadlock. So got there in about half an hour and um, 
the lady the lady whose flat who's renting the flat handed me two brand new keys and she said that's the keys there so I put it in and it was it, it felt like a drop snib um, but there was a letter box so I said okay look no worries plumber plumber sitting outside in, in the van he's also got a set of keys so I I took all my tools back down when I got my letterbox tool and uh, and my camera and um, on the way back I kind of said to him well can I just can I just have your bunch which which key is it and he, he pointed out the key exactly the same didn't didn't do anything so anyway proceeded with the letterbox tool dropped the snib down I was like oh it's still not working so I pushed the snib back up I thought maybe it was sort of in the in, in between push the snib back up still not working So, um, I thought, what, what, what am I going to do here? Like, the, the locks actually failed. And so then I was literally about to put my, um, my turn in, my um, GJ motor turner on to actually turn the handle of the night latch. And, um, and then I noticed two other keys on the builder's keys, or the plumber's keys, sorry. So, um, one of them didn't fit at all, the other one. Open the door. So I still need to shoot that gold on there. Whoa. The other key. Okay. So, have you got one of these keys? No, we have, they only give these keys. <laughs> I'm glad we called the professional. So basically, they've been using the wrong key the whole time. Told me as well. The, the tenant literally handed me two keys that had just been cut um, and they're brand new, both the exact same keys and um, said this is this is the key. No it wasn't. Sausages. I've got a gearbox to do tomorrow. Um, it was an Av a a Avantis and I didn't have one. And I know that I used it probably a month ago and I completely forgot forgot to replace it. So I had to put a temporary uh, overnight uh, gearbox on. So going back there tomorrow, I've, I've now had the, the new gearbox delivered. So going there tomorrow to do that. So I'll, I'll try and film as much as I can. When I went there, the lady was very, very talkative. Um, lovely, lovely lady, but was there the whole time. So it all depends on on uh, whether she's there or not because you know I don't like filming when the customer's there because well not when the customer's there but if they like to chat then I don't want Dominic to come across like I'm being rude um, so yeah we'll see if I can get that that filmed uh, I've just had a just been to another job um, for a customer that needed a deadlock um, just to keep alignment sorted out um, and now she's booked me in for a job at her, that she rents that place out and now she's booked me in for a job at her own house tomorrow so I think that's a deadlock swap by the sounds of what she was describing um, I've also got the MOT on my van tomorrow don't know, how that, don't know how that's gonna pan out I mean I'm hoping it's gonna pass obviously and as far as I'm aware there's nothing that needs doing but you never know do you you never know. Right. If anything else comes in today, I'll see if I can record it. Otherwise, I'll see you on the gearbox. Good morning, friends. Um, it's all of a sudden gone really busy again. So um, I've got about five jobs booked in today and, and the MOT on my van. Praying that goes through. Um, there's nothing that I know of that needs doing, but you never know, do you? Brakes might need doing. Uh, right, so I'm going to go and do this gearbox, this Avantis one. Um, I'm on my way there now. Um, then, then I, uh, then the MOT on the van. Then I'm going to fit a deadlock. Nope, sorry. Then I've got to go and gain access to some patio doors that have seized. 
Um, then I've got to go and do a deadlock and then try and go over to Kemptown and do some handles. But the lady with the handles has said that ideally she wanted it done before lunch, um, just on some patio doors out to her garden. Uh, but uh, she, so she's actually going to try and find somebody, somebody sooner um, to see if they can get there before lunchtime. So might not be doing that one. But the others and the MOT is a definite. Right, Avantis. That's the overnight gearbox. Oh, there we go, guys. That's the failed one. So new gearbox. Quickly flip that over. Right, yeah, it's lovely. Good morning, guys. Um, we're on our way to do a job in Wooding Dean at a uh, food manufacturer's. Um, They've got our, they sent me some pictures of our, 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 our lockable hasp but uh, one key snapped in the in the lock and they can't find the other one so for the cost of it we're just going to swap it over and they get two new keys. Um, going to do that. Um, so we'll see you there. Right so we've just come to do this little hasp job in this uh, food factory and um, look at this bad boy and this bad boy. <laughs> Oh, I might keep this. I don't see like this. Right, so yeah, they've lost the key to this, so rather than just faff it and trying to get them a key, I'm just going to change it over. It's actually probably cheaper to buy a whole new unit than it is to, to get a key for it, so. Right, there we go. That's all done. I'm going to open that. This little stopper was on the old one, and it's basically because there's a bit of slack in the door, and that just takes that slack out, so quite a good little... Oh, got a good little way of doing it. And that's it, we're done. Right, is that done? Um, looked sexy, didn't I? I think Steve looked better. You couldn't, he's there, look. You couldn't actually see his feet, but we had to wear those blue overshoes. And uh, Steve's wore socks and sliders in today, so he looked extra cool, extra cool mint. That's the word I was going to use. Right, yeah, so this completely jammed. This one's working fine. This is the slow drill. It's a bit stiff, but we'll give it a loosen up. There we go. It's all a bit rusty, but we'll give it all a, an adjustment and make sure it's all working. But this side is absolutely solid. There's nothing happening. To, oh, let me get the key out. Uh, nothing happening on this at all. It's literally just completely seized. So we'll whip it out, make sure it's not the cylinder, and uh, which I don't think it is because the handle's not moving anyway. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a new gearbox. Right, we are done. So all the adjustments made. This side's working perfect. Working lovely, actually, really smooth. That's locked and obviously new gearbox, new gearbox to that. And as you can see, I'll lift the handle now. Everything's throwing and moving as it should down the bottom. There you go. So, oh, on the bolt, show the bolt coming out. There you go. So, Get the key out. Let's try this side. There we go. Done. Up. Locked and we're done. And there's the old bad boy there. Completely rusted. Does not look pretty. Um, on our way to a lockout now in Hove and then the two code locks in Hove. I haven't seen this job with the code locks. I've just been asked to come and fit two code locks to two gates. At the same property, there's a gate down either side. Um, 
I haven't even seen any pictures of the gate, so I'm presuming that they know that they were fit. Right guys, what we're doing here, we are putting uh, a code lock up here. Uh, there's there's uh, some flats around the back here and storage areas uh, for this. It's a massive building. There's a gate either side, but people are just keep using it to gain access to the back uh, that don't live here. So we're gonna put a, a code lock on both sides um, so that the people that here can have the code and people that don't have the code will have to either jump over or not use it. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a low gate, so that's why we're going for a code on both sides. Otherwise you'd be able to lean over and, and pull the handle down. And also what I've got to do on both these gates actually is this style here isn't wide enough to take a code lock. Um, if you look at the latch, the latch sits flush there. It's overhanging at the back here. Uh, and the code lock would kind of sit half uh, on there if I didn't put anything. So obviously you can't use it like that. So I've got some timber, which is there. I've got a length of timber. So we're going to put a little bit of timber all the way down there. Uh, and we've got to do the same on the, on the other door that's uh, around, the, around the other side. Exactly the same, basically. Right, so we've got the latch in, all the holes made both sides. Um, so what we're going to do now um, is obviously the codes all need to be the same. So that we're going to set it all to one code. Uh, we've drilled the holes through this one so that we can fix it into the into the front one. So this will be the back one. Screws will go all the way through, fix into that. Uh, so yeah, actually need to set the code now. Um, take all this out of the back set the code and then we can get this one fitted right so front latch back um, obviously you can see the screws on the back but this one is pretty well hidden underneath the handle uh, fits absolutely perfect actually uh, so now we've got the latch to fit and I'm hoping this is where this little bad boy the new Sauber bolt locator finder thing whatever it's called uh, to mark up the latch on the keep there. Right, number one done. So, just do the code. That's that. Keep, messed up, ain't gonna lie. I set it back too far in, so I've got to put some, some cork down there or some silicon down there. Uh, don't know how I managed that, but I did. Um, yeah. And, uh, that's the one on this side and latch in. I've had to move the hinges over because there's a huge gap down here, but there's also a huge gap down here and it wasn't enough for that to actually latch, but it is now. So let's do the code again. There we go. Right, so I've put some silicon around there. I've had to pack this off a little bit because this is this panel in here is sticking just a fraction out. Uh, but yeah, other than that, other than a bit of silicon down there, which I'm a little bit annoyed about, doesn't happen very often. Uh, yeah, this one's done, so let's have a look at the other one. Okay, so this is the second one. Now this is a little bit different in that this panelling is swollen so much, it should be flush there, but it's swollen so much that it's pinging out here, so I won't be able to fit the code lock to that. So I've got to trim this down and get this to sit back if you look at the inside. It's supposed to be sitting back here. So we need to get that panel, we need to cut that. So I'm gonna run my um, multi-tool down that, and down there, and then from the outside, just try and trim the front up, get that to ping back, uh, and then we can put a bit of timber up in here to take the code lock. But again, if you look at the gap, I can get my fingers down here. Um, so I'm gonna take these hinges, it's tight here, so we'll just move the whole gate over so that the latch will go into the frame there. Right, this one's been a bit of a pig. So what I've had to do, I've taken these hinges over as far as I can. There's now a gap at the bottom, not the top, because it's now even all the way down here, but I can still get my fingers in. I can't go any further than that because of the wall down here. If I go any closer to that, it's gonna start rubbing at some point. Um, so the only thing I can do here, I'm gonna fit the, uh, the code lock to here. I've got to put a bit of timber in here now. Uh, fit the code lock up there. The keep, I'm gonna to have to ping it off. I'm not gonna be able to, where is it? That's the keep, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to actually cut that in. It's actually probably gonna sit somewhere like that. Um, I have to put some screws behind the plate 
if I if I if I even if I just screw that to the face of that like that, um, it's still there's still too much of a gap and the, and the key and the latch won't even latch at all. So, uh, but you can only do what you can do, can't you? We've got as well. So I've cut all the way down here now um, with the uh, multi tool, the Bosch multi tool, and got this all the way back That's as far as it goes. So. Uh, it's, it's a little bit rotten, especially down the bottom there. I can't even get a fixing down there because it's a bit spongy. But uh, yeah, let's get this bit of timber in here now. Uh, All right, number two's done. Uh, let's just put the code in and show you. This is a little bit different because I've got a massive thick door stop here, so I've had to chisel a little bit out of here. Um, the actual because of the gap that I mentioned earlier there, the only way I can get this to work is by screwing that on like that. Uh, timber on there. Uh, in an ideal world, it'd have a bit of timber down there, but we've moved it over as far as we can. I can't go any further because the gap down there against the wall. But yeah, <sighs> we're done. Right, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's good to be back. Um, yeah, I've loved it. I'm, I'm feeling back to myself, which is good. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'll go away on Wednesday on honeymoon. Uh, there will be a video next Sunday, but there might not be one after that. Um, but yeah, and don't forget, head over to um, Apex, open your account, use the code BH10 on your first order for 10% off. Uh, all of the details will be in the description below. Um, if you don't subscribe to the channel, please please subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out, it helps the channel. Uh, if you've liked the video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up, please. Any nice comments, as always, down there. And see you all next week, kinda. I mean, I won't be in the country, I'll be in Italy, in Lake Garda. But see you all next week. And uh, love you all, as always. Cheers, guys, take care.